Well, the kids came home with a very sad story and they were very, she was crying. This is my daughter and she's actually in fourth grade right now. She's on advanced le level and <laughs> so they called us and said that Aspida was trying to turn the school into a charter school. And I was like, I don't want you to go to charter school. So I have you in a public school because I don't like charter school. And everything just started. I was like, you need a fact team. We have to get this together in order to keep the school public. Because we talked to the principal to see what can we do, what resources can we initially start here as parents to try and help the school. And once we did that, I became part of the SAC team. I had no idea what I was doing and just got on the internet, looked up some resources and we just started getting everything together, fought, fought and reached out to all the parents, let them know they have a right to vote. Everything was in their hands to keep the school this way. Um, the biggest struggle we faced here was a lot of parents wanted Head Start and they were trying to take out Head Start and then they were taking away the best study. So then we had to fight harder and try and make that happen for the kids to stay. But unfortunately at the end, we still lost the teachers, but we still remained with the school public. They didn't allow the teachers to come back. So that was a hard part on the kids that we're facing right now. So hopefully this open house right now will help them because a lot of kids are like, I miss my old teacher. Because the teachers have been here for so long and it's just a hard change on all, especially all the kids that just raised up in the neighborhood to just see the teachers leave and that's hard. I only have two years in the neighborhood, but my daughter has become so attached to the teachers here because they were so nice. And now we're facing so many different consequences so it's beyond that one, which is unnecessary because I didn't have no budget cuts and we didn't have any struggles that are going on right now. I think everything would have been just fine. School years would have been good. We'd have had all the teachers and kids would have been happy. That's it.